Hi, and welcome to another Nature of Flowers Photoshop how-to video. This time we're going to create an image I'm calling a head full of clouds. Here's what it's going to look like at the end. You can see there's a profile of a face, and it's got beautiful sunrise clouds going through it. Okay, I'll show you how we're going to create this. So I'm going to go to my blank one. First, we're going to bring in a picture of a profile face. There's one I brought in earlier. And then we're going to need a picture of some clouds like this. Okay, these are pictures I've taken already, so I've just already put them into Photoshop to show you how to do it a bit quicker. Now, we're going to show you a new technique of cleaning up the edges to create the edge of the shape that we're going to cut it out. We've used the rubber in the past where we've got the eraser tool and we've gone round and we've rubbed bits of it out like this and we've rubbed around the edges and you can do it like this and you can rub all this bit out and that's one way of doing it okay I'm going to show you a different way today so I'm going to step back from that we're going to go to the quick select tool and this time we're going to select and mask we're going to use this tool here we've got a sliding bar here that's a transparency so we're going to put that at about 50% we're going to keep slightly smoother edge so that we don't get that jaggedy effect and then we are going to go around and select the areas that we want in our image so we want some hair and the face and you can see how much quicker this is than going around it with a rubber or using the selector tool now you notice this bit we don't want so we'll go to the minus and we'll Sketch that bit out like this. If we change the transparency all the way, you can see exactly what we have or haven't got. We don't want that bit there. We want to lose a bit of the hair. A nice effect. If we go too much, we get the plus back. Bring in some more back here. And keep it as natural looking as possible. And then you can see what I mean about the edges. If we go really smooth, See how the edges change? Okay, so now we've created our mask. Just one more bit I need to change. Then I need a little bit more hair here. A little bit more hair, that's it. Okay, once we're happy with our selection, we click OK. And you now notice we've got a thing called a mask. Here it is here. And it masks out part of the image. Now, what we want to do is move the image where we want to position it. We can scale it. If we press Shift when we scale it, it keeps the proportions. Scale it there. And there's our profile image. Press Enter. Now, with the clouds, we need to make sure they're big enough to fit into the layers, click on the cloud layer, press enter to change selections. Make sure the clouds are big enough to fit in our selection. And then you'll remember from a previous video where we used a clipping mask, there's a shortcut to find the clipping mask. We right click on the layer, press enter first, or if it will happen, right click, create clipping mask. And you can see there we have our clouds in the shape of the face. Now we can then move them around till we get the best position. What I really liked on the original version was having this little part of cloud here it works perfectly as some lips. So we line that up and we create this effect. Okay, there we go. Now we could experiment with the double exposure version, which I'm going to show you in another video. But if we start to bring in opacity, you can see we can start to see parts of the face through the clouds as well. I'm going to leave it on about 95, 90%. So there's just a hint of something else behind the clouds. You can see like a hint of an eye and the lips. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning how to create a head full of clouds. Um, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like it and make sure you subscribe to QuentinCartmentToNatureFlowers.com. Okay. Thank you very much for watching.